Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the lessons for quarter 1, week 3, which are multiplying numbers up to 3-digit number by 2-digit number with and without regrouping and estimating products. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Example number one. There were 323 apples in a basket. How many apples are there in 32 baskets? Hmm. To solve the problem, you need to multiply 323 by 32. Narito ang mga steps kung papaano natin multiply ang number. Step number one. Write the larger number above the smaller number. Isusulat natin ang malaking number, so which is 323, at isulat natin sa ibaba nito ang 32. So, 323 times 32. Next step, multiply the digit in the ones place of the bottom number by all the digits in the top number to get the first partial product. Uunahin nating i-multiply ang number na nasa ones digit which is 2 sa lahat ng number na nasa itaas. Kaya 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 646 ay ang ating unang partial product. Next, multiply the digit in the tens place of the bottom number by all the digits in the top number to get the second product. Ang next natin multiply ang number na nasa tens place which is 3. Therefore, 3 times 3 is 9. But wait, saan natin ilalagay ang 9? Itatapat natin ito sa number na nasa tens place dahil ang multiply na natin ay nasa tens place. Kaya ilalagay natin ang 9 sa tapat ng 4. And 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 3 is 9. So, 969 ay ang ating second partial product. Next step is, add the partial products to get the final product. So, let's add. Bring down 6 since wala naman na siyang katapat. Next is, 4 plus 9 is 13. Bring down 3. Carry 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Plus 6 is 13. Bring down 3. Carry 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Therefore, 10,336 ang ating final product. Napakasimple at napakadali, di ba? Another example is 203 times 13. Sundin lamang ang nabanggit na steps kanina at makukuha mo agad ang product. So, multiply muna natin ang 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. Lagi pong tatandaan lahat ng number na kapag multiply natin sa 0, Ang sagot ay laging 0. Then, 3 times 2. 609 ang ating first partial product. Next is the tens place. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. Then, add. 9, 3, 6, 2. Therefore, 203 times 13 is 
2,639. Another example is 4,212 times 34. So, ganun pa rin na ang gagawin. Mumultiply muna natin ang nasa ones place. So, 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 4 times 4 is 16. The first partial product ay ang 16,848. Then, tens place. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 times 4 is 12. Ang ating second partial product ay ang 12,636. Next ay add. I-add natin ang first partial product sa second partial product. Kaya, 16,848 plus 12,636. Ang sagot ay 133,208. Let's have another example, which is 345 times 24. Itong halimbawa na ito ay magpapakita ng multiplying numbers with regrouping. So, paano natin ito gagawin? Sundan lamang po ang mga steps na ito. So, una, write the larger number above the smaller number. Next, multiply the digit in the ones place of the bottom number by all the digits in the top number to get the first partial product. So, uunahin natin i-multiply ang nasa ones place which is 4. So, 4 times 5 is 20. Dahil 20 ay 2 digit, bring down natin yung 0 at carry 2 sa susunod na number na i-multiply natin. Then, 4 times 4 is 16. Eh, may dalawang nakalagay sa taas, pa-plus natin yun. Kaya 16 plus 2 is 18. Since 2 digit ulit siya, bring down 8, carry 1 sa susunod na number na mamultiply natin. Then, 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. Wala na siyang kasunod, kaya isulat muna sa baba yung 13. Ngayong tapos na nating makuha ang first partial product, ang next natin gagawin ay multiply the digit in the tens place of the bottom number by all the digits in the top number to get the second product. So, mumultiply na natin ang nasa tens place which is 2. So, 2 times 5 is 10. Since 2 digit ulit siya, ibababa natin ang 0 sa tapat ng 8 dahil nasa tens na tayo at carry 1 sa susunod na multiply natin. Then, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. So, ang ating second partial product ay 690. So, next step ay add the partial products to get the final product. So, 1,380 plus 690. Bring down 0 dahil wala naman siyang katapat. Then, 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 9 is 12. Since 2 digit siya, Bring down 2, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 6 is 8. Therefore, 345 times 24 is 8,240. Napakasimple lang na mag-multiply with regrouping, tama? So, narito ang mga examples para mas maintindihan ninyo kung paano mag-multiply ng numbers with regrouping. Problem number two. If one basket holds 282 apples, 
About how many apples are there in 31 basket? About how many means estimate? You will estimate the product to solve for the answer. But how? Just follow the steps. Step number one, write the given numbers vertically. So, isulat natin yung number na estimate natin. 282 times 31. Step 2, round each of the factors to its highest place value. So, 282, ira-round off natin siya. So, the rounding number is 2. Ang katabi niya ay 8. So, round up tayo. 282 ay magiging 300. Next ay 31. Ang highest place value niya ay 3. So, ang katabi ng 3 ay 1. So, round down tayo. 31 ay magiging 30. Next step is... Multiply the rounded number by setting aside all the zeros of the factors first. So, ibig sabihin, magmumultiply na tayo, pero wag muna nating pansinin yung mga zeros. Imumultiply muna natin yung number. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Pagkatapos natin mamultiply, next step is, Count and put back the zeros beside the product. So, bibilangin natin ang mga zeros sa factors. So, 1, 2, 3. Meron tayong tatlong zero, kaya ilalagay natin sa baba, katabi ng 9 ay 3 zeros. Therefore, the estimated product ay 9,000. For more examples, 528 times 67. So, round off muna natin ang 528. It will become 500. 67 magiging 70. So, 500 times 70. So, sabi nga sa steps, multiply muna natin yung mga number na hindi 0. So, 7 times 5 is 35. 35. Then, bilangin yung zeros. So, merong tatlong zero. Kaya, isulat sa baba tatlong zero. Therefore, 500 times 70 is 35,000. Another example ay ang 4,631 times 87. So, ganun din ang gagawin. 4,631, round up natin sa 5,000. 87 ay round up din natin sa 90. Then, 9 times 5 is 45. Then, bibilangin natin ang zeros. Mayroong tatlong zeros sa tabi ng 5 at isang zero sa 9. So, bali, may apat tayong zero. Therefore, the estimated product ng 4,631 times 87 ay 450,000. Napakasimple lang na mag-multiply at mag-estimate ng product, ba? Maraming salamat sa panonood sa aking video at huwag kalimutan na i-like, i-share at i-subscribe ang aking channel. Ako si Mamsi at muli maraming salamat. Paalam!